Hello and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is going to be hopefully an epic journey through this game. Um, of course the end goal is to beat the game, but in between all that I will do, I don't know, just I will run around and just do random stuff because that's what this game is about. So we're not going to play in master mode, we're just going to play regular mode. So new game, here we go. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. So where are we? I don't know. And who's talking to me? So here we are in our underwear. That's great. What a great start to a game. <laughs> okay, so let's just get through this. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Great. So now we have an iPhone too. We got the Sheikah Slate. Awesome. Okay, so let's get some treasure, some starting gear. Well-worn trousers. And we're also gonna get... An old shirt. Great. So, let's get into our inventory and equip that. And we're gonna... Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. We're gonna do exactly that. Oh, sunlight. We got sunlight. shine upon high rule once again now go fine i'll go 
Yay! We're almost free. Well, not really. We still have a uh, quite a ways to go before we're free. Wait, what? And let's just enjoy this. Who is that? Okay, so a few things. Um, I know from having recorded this game before that um, the game kind of comes out a bit grainy and I'd say a bit um, dull when it comes to like the colors. And this is a very colorful, beautiful game, so that's kind of sad. Um, I guess it has to do with my, well, it obviously has to do with my, uh, capture card, but I'm not sure if that's something I can just fix in the, in the editing process. You know, maybe some color correction or whatever that, whatever that's called. Um, or, uh, if I, uh, should, uh, mess around with the settings in the, uh, capture software beforehand. I'm just gonna kind of learn as I go, I guess. For now, I just wanted to record this first episode. Um, and uh, yeah, this LP is just gonna be uh, a free roaming experience. Uh, I will do, of course, the, uh, the story stuff in this game. And uh, when I'm when I'm done with this LP, I will just end it by uh, finishing up the game because this game technically doesn't have a uh, uh, what do you call that again like it doesn't continue after you uh, you finish the game so to speak you finish the main quest so um, when I do that which is uh, of course uh, beating our um, ever-present nemesis then this game will end but that will probably be uh, a long time from now Oh, look! An apple! A baked apple! Oh! I beg your pardon. Oh, it was yours? Sorry. Who are you? Yeah, where are we? Great Plateau. I see. Oh. Hmm. Too bad. And who are you? Now, what are you doing? Yeah, sorry about that. I'm just gonna grab this. A torch! Oh, but wait, that was his too. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna set things on fire! Thank you. Okay, so uh, yeah, just gonna be uh, lots of running around doing stupid stuff. Link, head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate.
yeah, so as you can see, this is where we need to go. But before we go there, I'm gonna do some stuff. So, um... These things. The Korok Seeds. Not sure if I'm gonna get all of them. Um, but I'm gonna get as many as I can, probably. Um, also, I am gonna go for all the shrines. If you don't know what shrines are, then that will be explained soon enough. But it's all gonna happen over a very long time, I think. Well, this is epic. Um, we have a bombable wall over there. I guess one thing I should say is I'm I'm playing this with the pro controller, um, because my uh, Joy Cons broke. So I'm not, you know, it's, it might take some time to get used to it. Um, I can definitely see myself accidentally pressing the home button when I'm trying to pause the game. So I'm gonna be a little bit careful. But you don't know what's gonna happen in the heat of the moment. Anyway, here is the temple. It's all ruined and our first enemy! Now one of my first reactions to this game was that it was pretty hard actually to... Um, Oops, uh, took that a little bit too far. Uh, yeah, it's kind of difficult in the beginning. Um, enemies can do a lot of damage and um, they're not all that forgiving. They're pretty fast too, but uh, yeah, fighting is fun in this game. It might be, It's a little bit... Um, um, it's a bit like the same old, same old after a while, but it's still kind of fun. So, um, I guess one of the, the things about this game is that you collect stuff, right? Um, just about everything you're gonna get, except for armors and maybe some weapons, um, will break after you've used it for long enough. After a certain number of uses, and that varies depending on the weapon. Um, and enemies, of course, they drop tons of stuff. Um, you can search these things and find some ancient gear. And uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a there's a lot you could explain about this game, but I think I'm just gonna do that when it sort of uh, when it's more relevant than what it is now. Um, It's a good thing to rush up to enemies because I think you do a little bit more damage then. And uh, yeah, make sure to pick up what they're dropping. Ooh, some... What is that, frame frame dropping or something? Get that sometimes. Anyway, here we get some better armor. Isn't that awesome? And there we go. I'm gonna equip that, and there we go. So we're basically in a tutorial area right now. Um, all right, let's uh, switch to their own weapons. Yo, yeah, we're in the tutorial area, but this is a huge area. Um, there's tons of stuff to do here, and you're probably gonna be surprised if you haven't played this game. I certainly was when you realize that this enormous area that we're in is only a very, very small part of the world. But more on that later. So it's probably gonna take me two or three parts to get through this. Uh, the tutorial area, the Great Plateau. But it's okay, because again, it's a fun area, so. I got both of them. Aren't I just awesome? 
Thank you. Yeah, and you have limited carrying capacity for weapons um, and shields and bows and stuff. I'm not sure about um, like items. I mean, of course, there's a limited number of items, of unique items in the game, but how many you can hold of each, I'm not sure. 99 maybe, or more. I'm not sure. Anyway, this guy up here, he's gonna have a shield and a sword. He will be a little bit dangerous. Aha! And let's get our first shield. And an awesome sword. Traveler's sword, which I can't carry, so I'm just gonna throw this away. Oh, he also uh, dropped arrows. Sweet. And here we are. This is where we needed to go. Uh, what do you mean? Uh-oh. What did we just do? We unlocked something. The Great Plateau Tower. Plateau? Plateau. So let's say that again. The Great Plateau Tower. There we go. Wait, we're downloading something. It's the map of the Great Plateau. Okay, so lots of stuff to unpack there. I guess we just saw Ganon. And we've also been asleep for a hundred years. That's great. So what has happened in these past hundred years? And how have I been able to survive for that long? How old am I? Who knows? Anyway, um, so the map, as you can see, it's pretty big. I mean, we started here. And it took us a while to go all the way over here, but we've got all of this stuff as well. But if you zoom out, it's the tiniest part of this entire world. And that is the best thing about this game, the overworld. I think this game, um, it has a lot of flaws, I guess you can say, or untapped potential, but what they did do right, they really did right, in my opinion. 
It's a free roaming game, and this game is so much fun to free roam. In my opinion. So, but I'll probably talk more about all of that some other time. For now, more story time. Yeah, I heard a voice. No. I did. It's Calamity Ganon. Oh, really? That's not good. That's not good at all. Hmm. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I am Link after all. Oh no. Oh. Paraglider. <laughs> Oh, really? The fate of the world is at stake, and you do not want to give me your paraglider. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna follow you, or actually, I'm gonna go ahead. Doesn't matter though. So you're gonna have to wait for him and then talk to him again. Oh. Really? That's odd. Maybe? Okay. So I'm gonna go and get you some treasure then. Right, let's get a fish here. That's important. Later. Yeah. Let's get some more. Yeah, so the way you replenish health in this game is not by getting hearts dropped by enemies, it's by eating. So, uh, we're gonna do a lot of cooking and stuff like that. You have an enemy camp here that you can raid if you want to. Uh, I'm just gonna head off to the, um, this weird place here. Yeah, swimming is very slow in this game. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. It's fine though. So yeah, this is a shrine. It's our first one. Also, since I have the DLCs installed, I get some free treasure. A ruby. Um, again, I'll talk more about rubies and such later. For now, let's use our iPhone and um, open up this thing. Access granted. What if it was denied? What would I do then? I wonder. Anyway, let's head down here. Nothing nothing bad can come of that, right? And I will keep the loading screen um, on screen for now, but I will cut them out maybe starting next episode or something like that. I'm probably gonna skip these cutscenes too later on. Oh, Oman Ao. The Magnesis Trial, okay, interesting. So first, let's go over here. 
Our Sheikah Slate is so useful. Boom. And we get a rune. Magnesis. Very, very useful. And one of the actually very few abilities that we're gonna get in this game. And we're getting it right now. But it's cool though. I like it very, very much. You can open this up if you want to. You can sort of, you know, draw the objects uh, away from you or closer to you. Things like that. You can drop them on enemies' heads. And that's fun too. They can probably fall on your head too. And that's probably not that fun. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, which... Uh... No, I didn't want to use that. Boom. I'm gonna get his stuff. It's just an ancient screw, but... It's probably a good thing to... Um, to collect those. Oh, come on. Let me see. Right there. Then we can get a treasure right here. Some treasures will... Uh, be made out of metal, I guess. Uh, so you can grab them like this. Others won't. And for them, you have to find some other creative way of getting them. We get a bow! Sweet! And now all we have to do here is open these doors. And there we go! It's a mummy! gift. It's the treasure, probably. A spirit orb? Huh. And we get a spirit orb. A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. Yeah, once again, um, I'm going to let the monks talk for now, but in the future I am going to shut them up. Alright. Uh oh, more dialogue. Yeah. How did you know? <laughs> yeah, something is going on, right? Oh. Low battery? What? Wait. Yeah, that wasn't the deal. Dude. 
You change your mind, that's not how it works. Hmm. Yeah, are you joking? I see. So we have fast travel. Great. But we can try it, I guess. Travel. Okay, some more cutscenes. <laughs> what? How did you? <laughs> okay. Nope. Hmm. How do you know? Okay, I guess I can do so. So uh, I'm gonna show you, hopefully. We have a shrine, wait, no, no, no. Um, that's not it. How do you, there we go. <laughs> we have a shrine down here. And we can, we can place a pin like that. We have a shrine over there. I can place a pin right there. And then we have the other shrine there, the third shrine. So now we can uh, check our map and you can see where we need to go, kind of. And that's kind of cool sometimes to use. So once again we have to get down this tower and not die in the process, which I did the first time I, I tried to uh, ascend this tower. Death is not that costly in this game, um, only sometimes. Anyway, before we go and uh, take on some other shrines in the vicinity here, I want to go over to this forest. Uh, I can show you the forest of spirits, because I need meat. I'm hungry. No, it's not actually for me. Or I guess it kind of is in the end, but you'll you'll see. Um, basically, we're gonna go hunting now for a while, and hopefully that will be the last thing I do. It might, given how it went last time, I tried to do it. <laughs> I might have to do it in between videos. But but yeah. So no rush. This is a game where taking your time is a is a good thing. I think. In my opinion, it is. This leaf pile right here is kind of interesting, but we can't do anything about it right now. So, what's going to happen as you uh, tra traverse uh, through the um, um, Great Plateau is that you're going to find the old man hanging around. No. Pushing the wrong buttons. Um, like, he should be somewhere around here. Yeah, there he is. Hunting. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Taking down uh, my prey in one single arrow. Um, a headshot, in other words. But 
usually I'm not very, I'm not very good at doing that, and then they run away, and at, when they run away, I can't I can't hit them anymore. And the thing about oh they they're all running away now that's not good. The thing is too like once you scared an animal, <laughs> they usually just disappear after a while, which is kind of funny. We also got a stamella shroom right here. Um, they will be good for our stamina. So, and getting a headshot for me is, like, impossible. <laughs> Got a summer wing butterfly. What am I gonna use that for? We'll just gonna have to wait and see. Um, yeah, I'm really bad at getting headshots for some reason. I feel like I'm aiming right at the head and still nothing happens. So, of course, the first time I ever did this, I had no problems with it, but now I do. No! No, no! No, see, this is what happens. And there's no way to kind of... Ah. And, you know, of course I can't waste too many arrows either. So, this is really frustrating. All of a sudden, like... Since my last playthrough of this, I, I just can't pull this off anymore. And, uh... Actually, I was trying to stream this game once, and that's when I had problems with it. And after a while... I couldn't find any boar anymore. They were all gone. At that point, I cut the stream because uh, I didn't want to... It's just stupid, you know? See, so now we don't have any boar around, which is just awesome. And I don't... I don't know if there's any other way to get meat in this place. Oh, there's a boar. It's not like I can kill him anyway. You can see, by the way, down the, by the by the map. See how it runs away in the in the wrong direction. So it's like it's impossible. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. For some reason, I can't do it. Um, yeah, by the map, um, as you can see, we have a thermometer. And we also have the thing below the thermometer, which is um, how much noise you're making, basically. A noise detector, whatever. Please. See, did, didn't I hit the head there? Didn't I hit the head there? <laughs> this is ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this in between videos, because I can't do it when I'm doing a video, <laughs> apparently. There we go, I, I got one. And I got some meat. Good. But, yeah, I have to complain about that because all of a sudden it's like I'm hitting the head. No, what did I do? I destroyed... Ah, oh, jeez. These guys aren't disappearing though. I'm not really sure what's going on here. They're just being crazy. I've never seen this happen before. Ah. Also, I'm really bad with the bow in general in this game. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let it go. Um, but that's uh, <laughs> that's a thing apparently in this game. That wasn't a thing before. It's like all of a sudden I can't get any headshots on those guys. Anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining about that. I'm probably gonna kill some more boar in the future, but generally not. And when it's nighttime, these guys comes out. Oh, I forget about the stamina too. So I'm gonna try to get to... Um, the ruins where the next shrine is. Of course you can do these shrines in any order. Um, the game is only kind of giving you directions on where to go, but you can actually do whatever you want. The only thing you can't do right now is escape the um, Great Plateau. And that's the only time the game will really um, imprison you like that. 
But you could have just, uh, you know, you didn't have to talk to the old man at all. You could have just gone to um, the highest peak of this place and, and do the shrine there. Actually, no, of course, because you have to go to the, uh, go unlock the tower. But you don't have to talk to the old man if you don't want to. I'm just doing it because um, it is a let's play. Anyway, here it is. Looks kind of scary. You get some keys flying over there. Some old, some old machines or whatever, robots or whatever they are. And the shrine. And I guess we're going to do all of that in the next episode. So thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.